That is my principle. That is my belief. When I meet you, the first thing, food. When you have the strength, I mean, we can talk. You are not giving food. And you are telling me, uh, I need only Christian. Only name synagogue church. And you are not giving food. If that means that food is not from God. If that food is from God, that job is from God. God is the creator of everyone. The man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, during the Sunday Life Service, after a powerful testimony, the man of God gave a short teaching. He said, this is my policy. When I meet anyone for the first time, the first thing that comes to my mind is, has this person eaten? And if I have something to give, I have to give generously, not thinking about whether the person is a Christian, a Muslim, or anything. Because the Lord is the creator of all. And if that gift is coming back from God, then it's a gift for all. But if he has to limit that is only for this group of people, is only for this group of people, then that gift is not from the Lord God Almighty because the Lord God Almighty is the creator of all mankind. Stay blessed, stay tuned. Eat love first. They should not ask anybody, where are you worship? Please, don't ask anybody. Everybody here, you should not ask, which church are you going? Where are you worship? Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Don't ask anybody. All we are all human beings first. They need food on the table. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, we need food on the table. <laughs> Give them food. All we are saying. Give us more. Though. food on the table if you give me food on the table you can talk to me sir if i give you food then i can ask you what is your name where are you worship where are you coming from are you a christian are you a muslim then i feed i fed you i have not given you food and their food now is job give these people job after giving them job you cannot ask them okay now you have got job now where are you from? Where, are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Then you cannot take that job from them. Whether it's a Muslim or a Christian, you cannot take it. You have given the job already. Now you can talk to them, but that job is there. Give food. Food on the table first. That is my principle. That is my belief. When I meet you, the first thing, food. When you have the strength, I mean, we can talk. You are not giving food, and you are telling me, uh, I need only Christian, only name synagogue church. And you have not given food. If that means that food is not from God. If that food is from God, that job is from God. God is the creator of everyone. But I thank God that I'm just one week old here, and I'm even privileged to be talking as, as a working class, you know, lady. I have a job that I didn't stress for, and this is the very first time an opportunity has come. Your church was not asked. Initially, I was like, don't they have graduates in this church? It should have been a, an opportunity for a man of God to call his family members, to call his church members, and allow them to enjoy this privilege. But right in the altar, it was thrown open. And that was my first visit, and I benefited. So God be the glory. Thank you. You listen to that? Yes, the hotel was turned open when thousand people turn up the second day for just 20 people they are looking for. And I let them know that, look, we are... So thank you, Ness. Don't, 
we are taking time, but it's a lesson to everyone. So what we are trying to do today, we are talking of our church and all can unite. How people can unite by strongest bond of love. How people can unite by war. Yes, that is. If we all unite and we lift our voice to God, God will hear us. Next, so I will say my sister after the meeting because of time. The lesson, brother, the lesson you should learn from today. God is the creator of everyone. Before you can talk to anyone, food on the table. When you want to help someone, don't ask where is worship. Give him that job. After you have given the job, you can talk. But you now begin to talk. Where are you from? Are you a member of the synagogue? Are you a Christian? Okay, you are not. Before you give the job, that job is not from God. Every woman be deserve food. Thank you. You know, she child without mic. So they refuse to give her voice. That's a iman, iman. Okay, please. Thank you. Now, like I have said, your assignment now is to get people job. And I know if you really mean it, you that are in position to do it. If you really mean it now, because the anointing water, I will. If you have a job now, you want to give those people in position. I want to gather you. I want to. I, I mean, there are many of you I don't know for the first time. I will write your name. I will hand over anointing water for you, for your company, for your company that want to give job. I'm not giving you with condition. I'm giving you because the work of that anointing water is to change your life, change your company, transform you. So please, after the meeting here today, I want to see you waiting behind. And uh, please, there's job. If anybody says there's no job, there's job. So allow them, let them go and wait for me. Please, I will be meeting them after the meeting. So this is, these are the people that uh, the Lord has given job. And uh, by next week, I want to come out to call on at least 20 people again. At least people can come for an interview, a new interview. So, and I know all over the world, as I'm talking viewers, all over, my people, the, anywhere in the world, either Asia, Indonesia, and I know they are listening to me, that we have partners all over the world, please, all we are saying, give us jobs. There are many graduates on the street, qualify candidate without job please and i'm here appeal to you and our god will never let you down Amen. if you get one job your company will transform from small to big Amen. big testimony thank you very much oh, the anointing water with 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 issue of job now with issue of this job, God has to release us to give the anointing water. When I say this, I'm not saying anointing water is coming to deal. And, and, and I'm only telling you that God will release this anointing water. But when? That is the question. So, pray we want those who are in position of authority all over the world. You have company somewhere and the Lord has blessed you. Please, these people, I will, I mean, I'm here to stand for you as your friend, 
praying with you. I mean, you have a friend, lawyer friend, you have accountant friend, you have all the professional. But I want to be one of the, your, 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 your prophet friend. I want to be your friend. Get me a job, please. Just get me a job there. So, and I want to assure you, like I have said, your membership at your local church is merely symbolic. The essence of true church, I'm not saying church, true church, the essence of true church is Christ in you, the hope of war. So in this case, if I'm now standing here to tell you that come and watch it with all, here is salvation, come here, it's a wrong message. That is not going to help church of God. Don't let us preach this. You can live here and decide not to pay your tithe here. You see, you know a church of God that you know that meets your, your tithe, your thanksgiving, go there and pay. It's as good as giving it to your church. So that is the meaning of your membership at your local church. It's merely symbolic. The essence of true church is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, sons and daughters of God. We know you have been tremendously blessed by the video clip you have just watched. Just as the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua said, God is the creator of all mankind. And if what you are given is from him, then you ought to give generously. He even went further to say, even those who are at the arena of liberty, talking of scorn, the synagogue judge of all nations. He said, even if you go out and think that I have to give my tithe, I have to give my offering, but to this location, because they actually need what I have to give, then he said, you should freely give. Anywhere that you think your offering is needed. For the Lord God Almighty himself is a cheerful giver. He said, I give unto mankind the best that I have, which is my only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And I give with all. Because his thoughts for us are always that of good and not of evil, to give us an expected end. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.